What's up guys, and welcome back to Plague Inc. In last episode, we managed to design a bacterial plague that wiped out all life on Earth. And this episode, we're going to be looking at the virus. And you would think that the virus would just be a reskinned version of the bacteria and that the game would be pretty much the same, but it's actually very different. A rapidly mutating pathogen which is extremely hard to control. So not only does it have different abilities, but it mutates incredibly rapidly, so I don't really get to pick what's going to happen. There's quite a bit of luck involved, so hopefully I can make this work. So once again, we need to come up with a name. What are we going to name our virus? How about uh, Bacillus Subtilis? How about that? It's already a bacteria name? Are you sure? Okay, well, um, I guess we'll just call it Dick Butt. That'll work. You are a new virus. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. So once again, China has a severe case of the dick butts. Everything seems to come out of China. Dick butt has infected its first human. Weak and unspecialized, it must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. So the viruses, like I said, are very different to bacteria. Even though you would think it might just be a reskin, the game didn't cheap out. There are actually three main differences. Dickbutt is a virus, that means that it randomly mutates rapidly and can be hard to control, it causes DNA points to devolve, so that's one of the three big differences. It's gonna mutate randomly, so I'm not gonna have control over that. If we get a big symptom early on that we don't want, then that's kinda out of my hands, it's just gonna happen, and it's gonna happen often. Now to get rid of that, the second difference, is that to devolve something, it's actually gonna cost us DNA points, rather than earn us DNA points. So you pretty much have to allow all symptoms, which makes it a little bit a random chance. And the third difference is that the viruses have a bit of a different ability set. So when we get a little bit more DNA here, I'm gonna show you guys. Three, four, there we go, five, six, seven, I think that should be enough. So like I said, transmission is about the same, symptoms are about the same, so nothing different from bacteria here, but in abilities, they have viral instability. So DNA becomes more unstable, increasing random mutation. So you're further increasing its already high mutation rate. So I'm gonna try to just pour everything into viral instability and kind of let the virus do the work. I'm just gonna let it mutate whatever it wants and see if we can destroy the world. I have a feeling Dick Butt is gonna be able to take good care of itself. So once again, we're gonna do another viral instability. We need eight for another one. We just got something, I should have read that. We got some, I think it was anemia. Anemia happened already, let's see. And there we go, three for three. We did get anemia, I believe, okay. Dickbot has mutated and developed the insomnia symptom. Okay. Okay, we've only infected 1,100 people and you've already mutated two symptoms, so that uh, that's a thing. Let's get spreading. Let's go with water. Extreme tsunami hits Central America. It doesn't matter. Dip button is mutated. Paranoia. Oh my god, are we really getting... Are this... Okay, no. That's not too bad. They're, they're low-level symptoms. We don't want to get the big stuff early on. I don't know how my luck is going to fare this time, but I'm I'm feeling lucky, you know what? I want to see if I can make it work. Dickbutt just got something else. Nausea. Okay. Okay, so we really need to get back to the transmission. Let's go with mosquitoes. So really, you only have to spend your DNA on transmission, because it's just going to keep mutating more and more symptoms until it eventually hits the super lethal ones. So you kind of have to keep up with paying for trans yeah, hemophilia. You gotta keep paying for transmission and let it get uh, symptoms for free. So hopefully this is gonna work. Like I said, it can be a lot of random luck, but I'm feeling lucky. Cysts, okay, we now have cysts. Crap, 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 oh god, we're spreading, okay. Spreading is good. So we're gonna get rats, we're gonna get air, okay. Every, if we can diversify. The biggest thing is that I don't want like Greenland to close off their borders. That'd be really bad. Okay, they've started a cure. We're gonna be ready for that. That's another thing. They started a cure very early on against viruses. So we are just gonna make it real difficult. We're gonna go the whole way into making it difficult for them to cure, slowing down the cure. Like you can see it's still only at 0%. It's not a big deal right now. Can we get another one? Uh, it's gonna cost us 27. We have 26, okay. One more, there we go. So now we are, this is genetic heart editing. The pathogen does not reproduce in lab conditions, decreases further research speed. So we're decreasing research speed. This should be working well, I think. We're spreading really well. We, we've infected 
1.5 billion. Dick butt now has rash symptoms. Oh, you don't want a rash on your dick butt. Tumors. Uh, that might be a little bit early. A little bit early. Didn't really want tumors already. Okay, we need to keep spreading. We're probably going to get water too. If we can manage to... There we go, there we go. Now we're talking walking dead combo. Insomnia and anemia are causing people to walk around gray with tiredness. Scientists working on the cure for dickbot are less productive. Okay. I'll take it. I like that. So you get these, like, combos. I think there was another one. It was, like, sneezing and diarrhea. If you get both of those, then you get uh, kind of a disgusting combo. An abscessed symptom mutated. Dickbot has mutated the developed... The abscesses symptom. I don't think I've seen that one before. What does what does abscesses do? Where is that? Tumors, abscess. Pockets of infected flesh are painful and act as breeding grounds for the pathogen, increasing infection rates when burst. Gross. We got Greenland and oh my god, yes, we got a bunch of really good island nations. Awesome. Vomiting. Dick butt now has vomiting. It's really cool because viruses are actually a really, really interesting pathogen. A lot of people don't understand what a virus is. What a virus is, not a virus is. A virus is like, it's really weird. It's not even technically alive. Like scientists are still trying to figure out whether or not you can classify it as alive because it really is just like a packet of DNA. It doesn't, it can't reproduce on its own. It doesn't eat. It's just kind of like a byproduct of life on Earth. It floats around. Oh my god, we have so much DNA. So we're just going to get, like, every spreading symptom we can. I think we've won this. This is looking really good. I don't want to jinx myself, but god, we are spreading quick. Pulmonary edemia. So yeah, like a, like a bacteria. You guys probably understand a bacteria is a cell. Like, we're made up of cells. Bacteria have one cell, they divide, you have two cells, and in your body, when you have too many bacteria multiplying, you get sick. Viruses don't do that. Viruses break into cells, so they'll break into your cell, they'll break into a bacteria, and they hijack what that cell uses to reproduce, and then make that cell make more viruses rather than more cells. So you'll, like, infect a red blood cell, and then all of a sudden that red blood cell is pumping out more dick butt rather than, like, dividing. It's it's ridiculous. It's really cool how interesting viruses are. So we are just, like, we have more money than we know what to spend on right now. We could just get, like, every every kind of thing we can think of. I think we have, are we full-blown? Okay, we can go, these are new. Extreme zoonosis? Multiple species, okay. And extreme, okay, I don't think we're gonna need those. Coma? Okay, so I don't know how this is going because we're, we're killing people quickly, but we're spreading equally as quickly. I think we're going, I think this is going well. Uh, sweaty dick butts. Mm, yeah, you don't, you don't want the sweaty dick butts. Total organ failure. It's another good one. Let's, uh, let's get this one. Extreme hematophagy. Metophagy. So we should be spreading to everybody on Earth now. Why aren't you guys? Oh no, this is what I don't want. You see, I don't want everybody to die in Greenland as fast as they spread. Okay, I think I think we're doing a good job. I think we're doing, we're keeping up. We don't want people to die off. We want them to affect everybody first. So let's get that as well. And then are there any symptoms that help with... Oh, we don't even have like coughing and sneezing and crap. Okay, let's get those because those will help infect rather than kill. Because we don't want to kill every... No, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know, we, we might have to devolve. Yeah, we're going to have to devolve something. Uh, devolve total ogre... Total... Total organ... Oh, I can't even... Total org, ogre failure is what I was about to say. Total organ failure has been devolved because we don't want to kill everybody. We want them to be infected. And if everybody who's infected dies, then you can't infect anybody else. Okay. I think, I think we've overcome that. See, now everybody is getting infected more rapidly, and the, the kill count isn't keeping up with the infection count. The cure is just totally gone. Doesn't even matter anymore. Canada's done. Symptom combo. Sneezing and diarrhea are causing unwanted accidents, lowering productivity, and drawing attention to dick butt. People would probably get a lot of attention drawn to that. So, Greenland, are you doing okay? Ooh, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. Stop, 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 stop that. Okay, uh, let's get rid of coma. We'll devolve coma. How about that? Are you guys gonna stop dying? Hemorrhagic shock, okay. 
Greenland, don't screw me, Greenland. Don't screw me, Greenland! Oh, no, 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 no. Frig! Oh, what else is super lethal here? Are you really lethal? Uh, dysentery. Okay, let's get rid of shock. Yes, dysentery, yes. Because we don't want all the infected people to die. And that's not going well. Iceland bombs infected cities. Stop that, Iceland. Just keep Dickbot his mutated paralysis. Okay. Oh my god, we're on like the razor's edge right now. Because we have the- I think the rest of the world's dead. I think everybody else is dead. I think the only people that are alive right now, Greenland and Iceland. So we have the two of them. Greenland has executed a group of people with Dickbutt to prevent infection. Whoa, Greenland. Whoa, what? No! There's no infected people left. They killed them. They can do that? I didn't think that was possible. That's crazy. So, am I am I boned right now? Is there no way for me to spread? Oh, I should have gotten this. That would have helped me way more. So, am I just screwed now? So, Iceland dies off with a whimper along with the rest of the world. Greenland still has 20% of its population healthy because it executed 10% of its population that was infected to stop the virus. So, I think when Iceland dies, we're boned. I can't... I can't infect those people. The dead can't infect those people. I don't think. Oh no, don't tell me I failed. I wanted to succeed on the first try so bad. And there they go. Non-human infection of Greenland. Dickbot has spread to Greenland through direct animal transmission and is now in the human population. Whoa, what? Oh my god, no, no, we had a, we, no, we had a glimmer of hope! Oh, that was so close, the birds! Oh, the birds carried it over, infected a few, few people, and then they died again! Oh, crap, we were so close! Damn you, Greenland, willing to sacrifice a few for the many? That shit's dark! That's gonna be it for this episode of Plague Inc, guys, and I wish that I could actually beat one of these plague types on the first try. But like I said, viruses do have some luck. We mutated really quickly, which was partially my fault because I wanted it to, but we became too lethal for Greenland, and Greenland apparently executed people. I cannot believe that. I've never seen that in this game, and it is crazy that that even exists, but I will remember that for next time. But thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. So we are gonna have to freeze old Joey here. Do it. Do it. Cold-blooded. Freeze him. He's gonna stand up to get this over with. Uh, Neeb. Uh, Neeb. Uh, no, Neeb Naya. I love that it's just like, ha ha ha, you're dead.